Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today we got a, um, it's, this is an 05 E350 van. These rear cargo doors will not open. So we're going to try to get these doors open and then find out what the problem is and fix the problem. So we're going to have to go on the inside of this van <clears throat> and crawl over these seats to get to the back and then we're going to try to take them door panels off um, so I'm gonna take probably a light and a Phillips screwdriver may take a couple extra little tools that I think I might need and let's see if we can get them panels off of it okay we're gonna try to take these panels off I'm, I didn't climb over this very last seat here that wouldn't be enough room in here for my big belly to get in there but what I'm gonna do is on these these up these upper panels has got to come off first and they're held on by some metal clips. So I'm just gonna try to get my fingers in between it. You may want to use gloves so you don't you can cut your fingers on these on this plastic stuff. Or you may even get something in here, plastic trim tool in here to pry to help pry. But these are pretty tough to get off. And you usually got to kind of get a little physical with them. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to pull and just keep them down here. Make sure I've got a... <clears throat> Come back over on this side. See if I can work. Like that one. out of the way be careful don't jank it hard enough you're gonna break anything but and then you know what it won't even you won't even come open from, from this one either so I think you can just take there's a Phillips screw here, one here, one here on this handle, and on this handle. So let me get them buzzed out real quick, then I'll be right. All right, I got them screws out. This this one over here I thought was a screw. That's not a screw. There's one here and one here for the handle, and then there was one up here. So once you get them out, and you're just going to lift up on this whole panel, just like that, because it's got some hooks at the back side that clips into it right on the side and then there's a uh, there's a connector down here I'm not too worried about pulling that apart right now I'm just trying to uh, get this door open let's see if I can find where the latch is at that looks like the um, light looks like a hinge part there so I'm probably going to have to get in behind this. There is two bolts or nuts right here on this handle. And that should be, looks like maybe a 10 millimeter. So I'll take them two nuts out. Let me see if I can get you down here where you can see them. Because I cannot see them from up here. Should be two black nuts, kind of a acorn type nut. So we're gonna take them out and see if we can get behind this, behind this uh, handle. See what we can find. All right, I took that handle off. That didn't help any, any at all. There's no room. I thought there might be a bigger opening in here where I can see in there. So I'll keep going. There is a big panel down here. Boy, it's going to be hard for me to get to. There's a speaker here. So I'm probably just going to pull the speaker out. And try to reach my hand in there and find them cables. See if I can get the door open. Get the door open. It'll be a lot easier than trying to do it from in here. So speaker is out. 
So I'm going to go through this opening where the speaker was at. And I'm going to try to find them cables. One of them cables or something. So I'm just going straight through here towards the handle. I found the one cable here. Make sure this is unlocked. This may not work at all, but I'm just going to pull on this cable. Uh, and that's all I'm doing. I'm pulling on the cable part. And that's releasing that latch. And that opened the door. So I'm just going to leave it right there for now until I can get out there. I can control this panel and stuff. And we can work a lot better outside. Out, but out when the door is open. That's what I'm trying to say. Now we can get this switch unplugged. Now this door latch will have two cables in it. One for the inside handle up to, to the latch here. And then from the outside handle, it'll have a cable. This outside handle will have a cable to this latch here. So I can already tell just by looking, this is what I thought it's gonna be, is these cables, I hope I can give you a good picture here. See that cable? See how it's loose there? That's supposed to have a collar on it. It locks in down here and that and then my plastic ends on them cable get brittle over time and they break. So we're probably gonna have to put ends on all four of these cables. Now you can just go ahead and buy new cables, but uh, it's a lot cheaper to repair your cables. You can uh, buy these little kits here. You'll get four of these ends in a kit. And they're, they're metal so we're gonna we're gonna place that plastic stuff with this metal one here that is a get your part number here and I've already used a box and a half on the side doors because the side doors they're very similar to these back doors so if you have a problem with the side door you pretty much pretty much know what's going on after watching this that is a doorman 600, uh, you're going to focus. Probably not. Dorman, 600-2227-1. And that kit is under $15 for a box of them. There's four in a box. So one box will do a cable. Two cables. One box will do two cables. Okay, so what we're going to need to do, we'll have to pull this on this inside handle, this the, uh, this remote part here, looks like it's got a little Phillips screw right here and that should loosen that from that. We'll have a lock actuator that we're probably going to have to remove. Yeah, it's got a rivet right here, so we'll probably have to knock the center out of this rivet then drill this rivet out to loosen that power lock actuator up uh, I don't know what we got going on further down in here but that outside handle how does that bolt in I'll have to look at that a little more. That's gonna have to have a that's got a lock cylinder down there on it also. We may be able to leave that outside handle in place. Detach this cable. I think we will. That we want that way we don't have to take that outside handle out. That would be kind of nice. Uh, yeah, we can do that because it's got a slot that that runs in, that cable. Push it over. And that is loose. 
and there's that broken in there's the other part of it that's good we don't have to mess with taking that outside handle out but the latch to get to the latch we're gonna have to to repair it I think we're gonna have to remove that actuator that rivet and then these three Torx bolts here where we can pull that out to get to the other end of the cable this end right here goes to this inside part for the inside latch you can see it's broke too anyway let's get started this remote up. That's the inside remote assembly. And your, um, your outside handle goes here and it, it's got a lever. I think it was like that. that. That goes under that tab there. Well, if I can get it right. Let's go show you how it worked. You go back together because you're going to have to put this back on. See how that flips up and makes that work. handle that clip end we go in here like this this cable uh -huh. hooks into the slot like that and then that's supposed to have that collar that holds it in place right there and this broke it just slides out that's why they don't open anyway let's move on to the uh, power door lock actuator. Let's get it loose. Let's knock the center out of this rivet. It's just a metal. You look it in there. Look in there. It's a different color than the this outside. It's just a silver pin like. We're just going to take a punch and drive that thing in. Like that. I heard it drop. We take a drill, drill bit. This is a uh, quarter inch drill bit. Of course, you're going to see a bunch of rivets on here. I, I leave it on there for, as a stop, kind of. Okay, that's going to have an electrical connector on the end of it that we're going to have to get unplugged. And I'm hoping we can get this thing out with it, you know, with the, because uh, this, this end of this actuator has got a hook on it that hooks into a tab. So I'm hoping we can pull the latch, this actuator, and everything out at the same time without having to pull this whole outside panel out, handle assembly deal out. But we're going to have to get this connector unplugged. And I've got, I've got the actuator pulled around here to this. Uh, yeah, let me show you. So I'm just reaching my arm in here and I'm grabbing that actuator and I've got it down here and I'm going through this little hole here. There's the electrical connector. I'm just going to try to release it from here and just like that. So that should be loose from the door itself. I know we got a rod up here that got to go in place I think. I don't know if we can pull that rod out individually let's see up in there not much room I think yeah that that rod has got a clip on it it's got one of them <clears throat> sort of a slide type it slides around but it's also got a uh, 
a bend on it, so it's going to have to come, try to come out with the latch too. So these three bolts here that hold it, this on the outside is a T27. Take them out. That latch is now loose. <clears throat> I'm just reaching in here because this, this tab for this outside, let me move it around here. <clears throat> this lock button has got to go down. Pull this cable here out a little bit. That cable was for the inside handle. Push that down. So we still got our. You know, I'm moving it out here, and we got our block actuator still on there. And we also got I forgot about. That's the uh, rod for the key cylinder. Well, shoot. Let me see if I can find where that's hooked up at. Hopefully, I can uh, hook it at the key cylinder. I can see the rod going down to it. And I think I will be able to hook it. I'll be able to show it to you, but it's it's a plastic clip. We'll try to show it to you. Mm, so I'm going down. I'm looking down through this hole right here. Get my hand in here. You see, there's a rod. You'll see it's almost like a white cloth that runs up that rod and it goes up to the latch. And it hooks up to a clip down there. It's an orange colored clip. And I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I get my. That is got that's where it clips in at. And it's got like two little fingers there that hold it in place. So what I'm gonna do is take a screwdriver down there and kind of release tension off them two two little fingers and then slide that rod out. I'll slide the rod that way. Hopefully it'll work. I might be able to give you a better look at that clip. I was going to go with the screwdriver, but I think I'm going to go with this right here because it's got a round type end on it where I can try to release them clips, put some tension on them. I think a screwdriver would work. Maybe a little harder. This may not even work. Who knows? Looking down in this hole, you see that orange clip there. That's what we're going after. So I'm just going to try to get on the end of it here where the little fingers are. I know you probably don't know what I'm talking about fingers. But they, if you look at it, that's what's holding the rod in there. It keeps it from sliding out. So uh, I'll have to put the camera down. But I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put pressure on it. On them little fingers. Kind of expand them open them up and then get my other hand in there and push that rod out. Okay. Here goes nothing. I do not want to break them. Cause more work for myself. in here of course I'm gonna get tangled up into everything doing this Popped right out. 
just relieve the tension off of it. I'll give you a better shot with that rod off of it now. You might not be able to see it very good, but see right there. Remember, remember, it's the orange one. So I got the the uh, the lock rod in my hand right now, and it kind of went in there like that. Of course, it's spun around a little bit now. You can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. I think I can get my camera steady while I'm trying to look in here at it. But it just clips in like that. Anyway, now let's see if we can get this latch out. Take it out with the latch. The wiring horn stuck on it, backside out there. So, hook it out and around. Pull this out. That was for the inside handle. That was for the inside handle. That was for the, uh, or vice versa. I can't remember. When we get it back in, it should be able to tell a little bit better. This right here is all I was worried about anyway, getting to this part of it. That was the, uh, mounts up like that. That was the lock part. That is our actuator that was riveted. To the door and this is the one that went to the lock cylinder the well, lock cylinder when you put your key in you unlock lock this one may have been the inside handle but this one was the outside you might want to look at that a little closer before you take it out so you'll remember you can see it's broke there on that part so let's get some new end pieces on. So we're gonna need one, two, this is broke, so three, four of them. Four of them little ends. Let's, all right, we need to put these metal ends on. They'll go on, the, the flat end will be next to the ball on the cable. First, we're going to have to get the old one off. Um, I need a pair of wire side cutters. Hang on. I'm going to cut this little piece right here off. This pair of side cutters. Get that off. I think this will slide down some. We can break it off. The rest of it. Some of it we're gonna to have to cut off. On the other ones, we'll probably have to cut them off. Like that. Then you're gonna to want to take this. Make sure I'm filming this. I'm gonna feed it onto the cable part first. Slide it all the way in. I'm gonna show it real hard. Now, <clears throat> I think once you get both these in place. And they're all in place. These these shouldn't slide around too much, but I didn't really care for them doing that. So I was taking a pair of pliers, and there's you'll see there's a little cut place here. Just taking my pliers in there, leaving that cut slot exposed here on the front side of my pliers. We're looking down into it like that, and then I was squeezing the heck out of it. I go up to another spot here. Same thing. And make sure it's still up in place. But see, that tightened it up. It's not moving now. Like I said, I don't think it would matter, but I just didn't 
careful that doing that sliding back and forth. Well, that one's done. <coughs> so let's do this one. This one here, we're probably gonna have to cut that off. I'll show you how I was cutting it off. Get this end piece off here first. Be careful not to cut your metal cable. Well, this piece right here is still pretty well attached to the uh, the cable itself. Now, if you got a, I guess if you had a, if you want to try to take that off with a knife or a razor blade, split it down, you could. If you got a little Dremel, you could use a little Dremel to cut it. I was using this here die, angle die grinder here. You gotta be careful not to get into this cable. So you don't want to cut all the way through this plastic. You just take your time. Here. I'm just cut, cutting a slot down this thing where I can just peel it off. I don't think I want to go any deeper than that right there. And I'll take me a pick. And I'll go in here. Peel it off. Take our end here. Now see this white deal? If you see that out, don't cut that. Just push that, that white sleeve. Push that back up inside the cable. started push all the way down Do this clamp deal here again <coughs> yeah it's in there solid them two now These two here at the latch. So I'll go for I'll go for this one here first, probably. Let's see here. How is this gonna work? Let me pry this up maybe. Something under it. Let's get through there. Maybe if I take the cable, the cable supposed to be like this, come down. Bring that cable where it's up here on the side. Hope you can see that. And then let the pressure off of this. That drop down. Pull it out. And then same thing on this. This one wants to be stubborn. <laughs> Keep whittling it down to nothing, that gear, I guess. All right. Well, that one came off a little bit. I'm going to have to cut it, though. Looks like it's got a crack it right here. Yeah. Maybe I won't have to cut it. Let's pick up right here. Okay. Move our wax sleeve back in. I'm going to go get me another box of them. Be back. Okay, you know I said them were Dorman. They are made by Dorman, but this has got a uh, Napa. So I don't know if that's <clears throat> Napa's part number or Dorman's part number. To be honest with you, Will it get it this time. Maybe. 
But they are made by Dorman products. Then, do this again here. I've had this, I had this lever here, pushed all the way up. Like that. Or maybe I have to put my little, there we go like that. There we go. That'll go in. And that'll go in that slot right there. Yeah. Mount it up. <clears throat> then we'll go after this bottom one. See if we can figure it out. It may be a little trickier. It's got a lever right here. Ease that lever off. Right there is where it hooks up at, so. This may be kind of tricky. So I'm going all the way out with that lever. And I'm probably going to have to get me another little screwdriver to get in here and pick that out. Okay, so I'm going to try this uh, little 90 degree pick here. Let's go get back here underneath this cable, or behind the cable. And as I'm prying this, that's going to be hard. I need this pried out, I know. Maybe a screwdriver would have been better. Underneath that, you need to be right there. Come on, come on, baby. Now, my pick is not doing it right. Okay, I've got it disengaged from that. Now I just gotta get the little ball part down somehow. And my cable's trying to automatically go back into place. It did, it went right back into place. Oh. Well, hopefully, it goes back together that easy. Start all over the life of a mechanic.
just need to grab it and pull it out. That's all I gotta do. That's all I gotta do. I'm gonna leave my pick in it this time. Well. Ugh. There it went. Wasn't hold my mouth right. loose from it. Maybe I can break that plastic housing out. Hung up in there. Get in here behind it. There we go. I was wondering if the middle one's going to even going to fit down in there. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's get this cut off. Cable's got a little fray on it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Watch out because it is sharp. Still got a little bit right there. Broke off there. Now, clamp this baby. <clears throat> that looks good. Piece of that. Now, <laughs> is this going to be fun or what? Trying to pry this little latch part here over. Holding all this in. Well, surely it's not that easy, is it? Push this collar part down. See it working? Yep, that works. That one works. Okay. That's pretty much it. Just get everything installed back in. So it was on the door like that this actuator and this was the lock part the, uh, the door button I should have looked where this went I think it may have hooked in this way I 
upside down. So that's where it, where it hooked in. This come over onto the door like that. So that's how we're going to put it back in. Let's see if I can get this little rubber boot back in place. All right, you think you can get it back in or you? I might as well show you. So we just need to get everything that went to the bottom lock cylinder, you know, for the key, lock button for the door. <clears throat> this one. This one I'm thinking is for the uh, for the latch for the uh, inside handle rather. I got this. I got this backwards here. Hang on. Let me get this right. So I know what I'm talking about. I'm not guessing. Okay. This is the way it goes. Not sure if that is the inside. I think this is the inside handle cable because the other one went down for the outside handle. So we'll just guide this in like that. And it'll take a little while to get everything down in place. Don't force anything. What I'm going after now is this button rod. Get it back up in place. That way it'll help hold it. Here's the latch right here. So we'll have a uh, screw ready, which I don't have one ready, but yeah, I can make one ready. Well, we just loosely put a screw in that'll hold it in place. Come on. So that'll kind of hold it in place. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get that up. Uh, make sure everything is going the right way. That short cable is for the inside remote latch. The uh, power actuator is in place. But my lock rod is, yeah, it's in place. So I'm going to try to go ahead and snap that back in while I've got a hold of it without breaking anything. Our door lock black. I can get my hand behind it here. There's no use me even trying to show you. But I'm just getting out of place and it just snaps back in. No tools required for getting it back in place. So what I think I'll do is go ahead and put another screw in that. Keep it a little more steady up in here. And when I get it all together and tighten them down. So next thing I want, I'm, gonna, <clears throat> I'm 
I'm on my ma stuttering here. I'm gonna get that electrical connector plugged back up to the actuator. Go ahead and find it. You get the idea on that, right? We're just plugging that actuator back up. When I get that plugged back up, then we'll go in here and hook this uh, cable up. Okay, I'm going to try to get that thing seated up in there. It just don't want to go. Want to move you back. You see what I was going after? Because I'm going to do a smack job here on this. Didn't help because I need something behind this. Screwdriver behind the back side of that rod. I can hold pressure on it. <clears throat> what can I do? What can I do? It's so close. So close. Problem is, if when I whack it, that whole assembly kind of moves, so it don't really get a good shock to it. Take this off. I gotta try to get to that better. I don't even know. This may not help me at all. So if you gotta take this and do this anyway, so might as well just take this out and then make that actuator and stuff a lot easier to feed back in. I don't know if this is not designed for this type of clip or what. Try to put it in here where I can squeeze it together. I don't think this needle nose is going to have enough. Oh, do it, do it. Yeah, it did too. And it popped right in. Okay. So if you're doing this job, take this, just take this loose. Here, just have four bolts. I thought it might be something difficult, but it's not. Uh, as I'll show you out uh, here. I've probably done this before and realized the same thing, but. See, so you can get to that cylinder lock rod better. 
there's the ax power actuator and everything there's what I was trying to get a clamp back up that end piece into this locker where it retains it well it's tough so you'll have to really put some pressure on it to get it to snap in okay back in place here Turn the light off Let's get this inside cable hooked up to this kind of a remote actuator. Uh, the cable end will go in here in this little slot and slide up into here. That little ball will be down here on the bottom and then we'll have to snap that together, that collar and that end together. Hopefully it's not going to be as bad. I don't know, that's that short cable. So I don't have much room here to play with it. Well, let's see what I can do. Why do they make everything so difficult? Maybe it's the guy doing it that makes it difficult. I didn't think about that. I'm far from a door cable specialist, that's for sure. Well, I've got the little cable in. So where I'm going to run into problems is the same as that down there. getting that hooked in so if I had to do this again <clears throat> while I had that latch laid out on that you know where you could get through everything I would go ahead and install this this one onto the cable while you have it out that way you can get to it and now I'm going to have to mess around with trying to get that collar locked in. Okay, actually that went in pretty dang easy. After I got around here where I could get to it better. Anyway, I'd still put it on out when I had that all off. Now we're going to put this remote back in place. I think it had a little you know, it'd have a little screwdriver screw right here. Kind of hold it in. All right. Now that and on there, and then this kind of got this hook right here. It goes underneath that. And we had the. Uh, Two little acorn nuts that went on there. I have to find them. I think it's one of them there. I have to get it out of my socket. Anyway, put them on there. Now I've got the lock actuator up in place. I've got a rivet started on it. I'm hoping it don't fall out while I'm doing this. I'm just gonna take it real easy here.
back in here and check, make sure it's in there, and it is. Go hit my uh, lock and unlock button.